this problem from projectile motion in a plane. Now the problem is two particles are projected simultaneously from O in two different directions with same speed. Speed are same U and this is also given by U. So as to passes through another point T, both the particle passes through the same another point, this is P. If alpha and beta are the angles of projection, prove that they passes through P at time separated by this 2u by g into sin alpha minus beta by 2 into set alpha plus beta by 2. We have to prove this result. That is two particle uh, passes through the point P and the time r, the difference of two time, if one particle take t1 time and another particle take t2 time, then we have to prove t1 minus t2 is th this or t2 minus t1 is this. Okay. Now, here the point of projection O, this is taken as the origin. Right? This is O. And this is the path of one particle and this is the path of another particle. And this is O and another point, this is P. Let it be X, Y. So, we get this height is y for both the particle and this distance is x for both the particle. Let it be m and this is x axis and o y is y axis. Okay. Let this particle makes angle alpha with x axis. This is angle alpha and this particle makes angle beta with x axis. This is beta, right? And both the velocity are same and this is given by u. So, for the first particle, the velocity along x-axis is u cos alpha. And for the second particle, this is u, sorry, cos beta. Similarly, for both the particle, the velocity along y axis are given by u sin alpha and u sin beta. Okay. Let this particle, that is which makes angle alpha, takes t1 time from O to P and it takes t2 time from O to P. And for both the particle, if we write the equation of motion, there is no acceleration along x axis that is for both the particle x double dot this is equal to 0 and for both the particle y double dot this must be equal to minus g because at any point there is only one force downward direction at this is mg for both the particle if the mass of this particle is m and this is also mg if mass of this particle is also m okay or it may be m1g and it may be m2g but the equation of motion are same right now we take here t1 with the required time to go through o to p and t2 with the required time for the second particle to reach at p since there is no force along x axis so there is only velocity for the first particle is u cos alpha and for the second particle is u cos beta and by this velocity the particle goes through the vertical distance o to m that is the distance x in time t1 and in time t2 respectively so we get the first relation as x this is equal to u cos alpha into t1 and for the second particle this is x this is equal to u cos beta into t2 and from these two relation by equating we get t1 by u cos beta this is 
sorry uh, right t1 by u cos beta this is t2 by u cos alpha or we get t1 by cos beta this is equal to t2 by cos alpha and this is k we say here this is we let k a constant because two ratio are same now at that point the vertical height for the both particle is y okay and there is vertical acceleration for the both particle is g but it act downwards direction so by using the formula s this is equal to ut plus half ft squared we get here u means u means vertical velocity initial vertical velocity which is u sin beta and u sin alpha okay for the first particle this is u sin alpha and for the second particle is u sin beta so from this relation we get this is y because this is the vertical distance and this is u sorry u sin alpha this is vertical velocity initial vertical velocity sin alpha into t1 for the first particle minus half into g because here g act downward so we put f this is equal to minus g and if this is t1 square and also for the second particle this is also y and this is given by u sin beta into t2 minus half into g into t2 square okay now equating this two relation we get a result as u sin alpha minus u sin beta sorry this is u sin alpha into t1 t1 and this is u sin beta into t2 t2 and this is given by half g into t1 square minus t2 square right now we have to find the difference of two type that is we have to find either t1 minus t2 or t2 minus t1 which is positive this is our answer now from here we get t1 minus t2 this is equal to 2 into u into t1 sin alpha minus t2 sin beta we take common t1 sorry u from both the relation and we multiply 2 here and the denominator is g into t1 plus t2 because t1 square minus t2 square this is t1 minus t2 into t1 plus t2 now we put the value of t1 and t2 from here we get the relation 2u into value of t1 is cos beta into k that is k cos beta into sin alpha minus k cos alpha into sin beta by this is g into t1 plus t2 this means k cos beta plus k cos alpha and we cancel out k from numerator and denominator and get the result as 2u 2u by g into upper side is sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta so this is sin of alpha minus beta and the lower portion is cos alpha plus cos beta and this is 2 into cos of alpha plus beta by 2 into cos of alpha minus beta by 2 because cos c plus cos d this is cos c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2 now if we if we apply the formula sin to theta then we get 2u by g into 2 into sin alpha minus beta by 2 into cos alpha minus beta by 2 by 
2 into cos alpha plus beta by 2 into cos alpha minus beta by 2. 2, 2 cancel out. Cos alpha minus beta by 2, cos alpha minus beta by 2, both cancel out. So, our result is T, T1 minus T2, this is equal to, this is equal to 2u by g into, this is sin alpha minus beta by 2, sin alpha minus beta by 2 into, this is 1 by cos, this means sec alpha plus beta by 2. So, this is sec alpha plus beta by 2. Okay, and this is our required result.